With trend data indicating that Ontario is facing a significant reduction in its health workforce, innovation is imperative. Unless new ways of practicing healthcare are introduced, Ontario will face a significant shortage of healthcare workers. Patient care and provider satisfaction can be increased through the expansion of family health teams. Expansion of family health teams involves only the province of Ontario in decision making. Ontario's Liberal majority can approve bills with ease. The government supports primary health care expansion and interprofessional collaboration, increasing the likelihood of adopting the option. As pilot family health teams have been established, increased administrative capacities for billing and payment of non-physician health care providers have already been developed. This means that the government will feel more comfortable with the proposed change. Family health teams will reduce stress for families in search of a doctor by improving access to care across the province. Dr. Hughes of Lakefield Family Health Team speaks on the increase in the number of patients with a family doctor. For the past three and a half years, uh, approximately 25,000 new patients have been attached that have previously not have had a family doctor uh, in Peterborough County. So that's, uh, that's a huge that's number. An incredible number. Expansion of family health teams across Ontario promises benefits to numerous groups. Firstly, physicians will receive more power as team leaders and will be less burdened as many of their duties will be allocated to other health professionals. All other health professionals such as nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and others are guaranteed jobs and salaries and may also receive additional powers via a widened scope of practice. Further, patients stand to gain better access to comprehensive primary care. A growing body of literature documents the success of interprofessional collaboration. Evidence suggests that teams are not only cost-effective, but also improve healthcare outcomes and increase patient satisfaction. The diversity of clinical expertise in team-based decision-making largely accounts for such improvements. Unfortunately, physicians will have to sacrifice additional time and money to start up and run the family health teams. However, these costs will be offset from funding by the Ontario government. Physicians will be compensated by blended funding models instead of traditional fee-for-service. Government funding is also available for operational overhead costs, in addition to grants, special payments, and incentives. Dr. Neville from Peterborough describes his experience working in a family health team. Initially, I was apprehensive about joining a family health team, but not anymore. I would never go back to anything but a family health team. In the last 24 years, this has been the happiest I've ever been in practicing family medicine. A potential barrier to the expansion of family health teams concerns the government's willingness to extend public payment to non-physician health care providers outside the hospital environment. Decision makers often hesitate with changes that the public will notice and may be weary of increased spending in a post-recession environment. However, the Minister of Health, Deb Matthews, expressed her commitment to the initiative in 2009. We're expanding <clears throat> access to primary care across the province by increasing the number of family health teams. Furthermore, Premier Dalton McGuinty strongly supports the teams. This particular family health team itself is now open to more patients. So we're proud of this achievement and proud of what we've been able to do to introduce a little bit more security in the lives of Ontario families. The public might initially be weary of the change as it affects their primary health care provider. Once educated on the benefits and as more people gain access to primary care, this should no longer be an issue. We're a family of five living here in Peterborough and when our doctor left town about three years ago, we felt abandoned. We even considered leaving Peterborough. For every medical visit, we had to go to emergency and it was a pain. But when the family health team opened up, problem solved. We're staying. With a rapidly aging population and growing demands for chronic disease management, disease prevention, and other primary care services, Ontario is in need of a strategy to address these pressing needs. Targeted expansion of family health teams promises equal access to care across Ontario. The Liberal majority supports family health teams and their expansion. Administrative capacities are already in place from pilot projects. Affected groups will benefit, thus are likely to support it. More health professionals will be guaranteed jobs and salaries, while physicians will have a reduced workload. Time commitments and financial investments for physicians will be offset by government funding. While the change may surprise the public, education on the benefits will lead to support. Research evidence demonstrates benefits for all affected. Clearly, there is strong support for the expansion of family health teams, and it remains the optimal solution to strengthening primary health care in Ontario.